Hi, thanks for taking a look at this clock. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this clock and then I'll play the, uh, the clock for you so you can hear the different gongs. Uh, this clock is made by a company, uh, Knight and & Gibbons, and they were out of London, England, and they were making clocks up until about five years ago, and then I think they uh, stopped production. This uh, clock uh, we bought uh, directly from Knight and & Gibbons, and in the uh, brochure that they have, and this is a copy of the a brochure, this particular clock is called the PA51M, it's a chamfer top bracket clock. And let me just read you a little bit of what it says. Uh, height 13 inches, width 8 inches, depth 5 inches. Uh, solid mahogany case. Uh, the door is veneered with curled mahogany and inlaid with boxwood lines. The movement is the Kininger 8-day spring wound. It's a triple chime model. It's, it plays the Westminster, the Whittington, and the St. Michael on 8 gongs. It also has an automatic night silence with manual shutoff. Uh, it's got side frets, uh, brass with pierced uh, quatrefoil design, and it's lined with silk. The original price in this was 1,371 pounds. That's 1,371 pounds. Okay, the, uh, the clock, if you open the front, uh, there are three places to wind. And I'll show you the winding. The, the, the one on the bottom is for uh, uh, the general running of the clock. Uh, this one does the uh, quarter hours and this one does the hours. Uh, let me play you what it sounds like here. We'll listen to it at the half. That's the Westminster chime. Here is three quarters. So the clock plays four gongs here, eight, and this is 12, and now we come up here, 16, and after it pay, plays 16, <clears throat> it will then also uh, gong the time. Okay, uh, you heard this, the, the time of seven. To wind it, this is the original key. Uh, this one on the bottom, as I said before, uh, is for the general running of the clock. This is for the gongs on the quarter, and this is the gong uh, on the hour. If you look at the front of the clock, you'll see that it's in, in great shape. The, uh, generally, where you get a few, there are just a few little tiny nicks here, and honestly, that's from accidentally dropping the key once or twice. But the, uh, the box and the wood is really in almost, almost pristine shape. I'd say it's 99%. And if you look here at the top, uh, there are no marks, no bangs, no nicks, and uh, it, it's a nice shape. Let me show you the back of the clock. The back of the clock has this little latch where you uh, open it up. And inside, you can see the, uh, the movement, and this is the Kininger. Kininger is the uh, company out of Germany. Uh, they are most famous for making the uh, best eight-day movements. You can see the gongs down here. It is super clean. This has only been used in an air-conditioned home, no smoke. Uh, right here is a little uh, lever where you can either accelerate the, uh, the speed of the clock or you can slow it down. Right now, after about four or five days, this clock is generally about two minutes behind. And just a little tiny movement here will switch it, and uh, you can mess with that till, till it's almost perfect. Uh, there's a little story here about uh, the wood and how to care for it. If you look at the back of this and you look at the wood case, it is, uh, again, I'd say it's 99%. It's in, uh, it's in really fine, fine condition. So I'll close that. This is the side. And again, this is the front. 
So this is the Knight and Gibbons. It's a top bracket clock. Uh, original price on this was 1,371 pounds. And if you convert that to dollars, we're talking about, uh, well, it's gonna be 1.4 times 1371. I'll put that in the uh, write-up description of the clock. So please give this uh, your consideration. Uh, it's been in our family now for about five or six years, and uh, we think it's time for, for us to say goodbye and put it into a, a new home. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the story. Over and out. Bye-bye.